Question number nine says, it has been suggested that rotating cylinders about 11 miles long and 3.6 miles in diameter can be placed in space and used as colonies. What angular speed must such a cylinder have so that the centripetal acceleration at its surface equals the free fall acceleration on Earth? And so uh, what it's asking is it wants to know the, it wants to, it wants, uh, so on Earth we have a 9.8 meters per second squared free fall acceleration. And so how fast does this thing need to be rotated in order to get a centripetal, so to the center, a centripetal acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. And so the centripetal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared over the radius. And so we just, uh, we, we, need, we already have the radius. So the radius is, um, it tells us that the diameter is equal to 3.6 miles. And um, it also tells us how long the cylinder is. We really don't need that information at all. So 3.6 miles, and this, whenever you do dimensional analysis, you convert this into meters, it's roughly 2,896.819 meters. And so if you need help converting that into meters, leave me a comment and I'll make another video for that. So this is the, this is, uh, so what I did in that was I divided that by two. So I divide that by two to get the radius, and then I converted that into meters. So there's your radius. And so now we have, and we know that the acceleration needs to be, the acceleration needs to be 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we just have to solve for velocity, and so we have 9.8 equals v squared over 2,896.819. Uh, and so, you can multiply by both sides, so 9.8 times 2896.819, and that gives a that gives a v squared equals 28388.8. We'll say 83. So we've got to find the the square root of of both sides to find v. So you plug the square root in, and you get that the velocity equals 168.48, we'll, we'll round that up to 49 meters per second. But the question wants the answer in radians per second. So we've got the velocity, and what we need is the angular velocity. So the angular velocity is, is equal to the the tangential velocity divided by the radius. And so we have the tangential velocity of 168.49. 168.49. And we have the radius, which we said was uh, 2,896. So 2,896. And we just divide that out. And the the angular velocity is equal, or the angular speed is equal to 0 0.0581, uh, and it goes on and on, but that's, that's all you need.